Now, number six, I guarantee, is more hated than all these people put together. We're going to do a social experiment, okay? I guarantee that when I turn number six over, I promise you at least one person in Southport will walk off because you do not like this person. You hate him so much, you think, I've had enough, I'm not thinking about this today. And I promise you someone will walk off. Now, if you do walk off, do me a favour. It was said about this man, he was hated without a reason. So if you walk on by, just do me a favour, as you walk off, just let the thought go through your mind and say, what is the reason why I don't like this person? Excuse me one minute. Are you ready for it? Away, yeah. It's not because I hate him. Right, okay. because of that, I've got somewhere to go. Okay, so you don't want to wait, I'm going to reveal it right now. I know it's I've got everyone's attention, are you ready? Are you ready for it? Do you want to see it? I know it is. There you go. Okay, let's see. Now, you might be tempted right now, you might think, I do want to walk off, but will you give me 60 seconds to speak about him? You don't hate him? No, what do you think about him then? Do you think, it, is he your God? Is he your Lord? He is, he is. Well, that's wonderful. And there's other people here today, I'm sure, but a lot of people, he divides people, doesn't he? Jesus said this, if you're not for me, you're against me. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Imagine I'm in a pub with you, okay? Strange, okay? You've got a pint, I've got a pint. I come and sit next to you and I say, I know you particularly, but just imagine a normal lad, okay? And I start talking to you about Jeffrey Epstein. I start talking to you about Putin. You enter into a conversation and I say, hey, I'm a born again believer. Let me tell you about Jesus Christ who died on a cross. What are most men going to do? They say, shut up, I don't want to talk to you about that. And that's why I say it, people don't want to think about it. If I was standing here talking to you, like about football or anything, people are willing to listen. But just look at the churches, just look around, people do not want to think about Jesus. We'll eat the Easter eggs, we'll go, you know, we'll have all of these celebrations, the bunnies, but the Christ who died on the cross, we want nothing to do with him. People, well think of it this way, imagine I'm a... Imagine I'm a criminal, okay? Imagine I sell cocaine, right? I don't sell cocaine, don't come to me asking for any. I know some, some of the people's ears are up, yeah, there's some cocaine over it. No, I don't sell cocaine, but imagine I'm a cocaine dealer, okay? And I've got a ton of cocaine in my house. Am I going to buy a house next to the chief constable of Manchester? Because I, I, I don't want, well, I don't, I'm going to get caught, oh, aren't yeah. I? If I buy a house next to a policeman, it's a stupid thing, isn't it? And like, I'll tell you why. Because Jesus represents the law, he represents holiness, he represents perfection. And if you believe in a God, you've got to say, well actually, when I die, am I good enough to reach this God? And that's the question, are we good enough to get to heaven? Because the message of the Bible isn't about being a good person. And what I'm here to tell you is this, it's not about being a good person. There are two types of people that get into heaven. What's your name, sorry? Josh, I'm Joe. There are two types of people that get into heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Now, is there anyone today in Southport who's perfect? We're not. But every single one of us can be forgiven. Because on that cross, all the wrong things that Josh has done, all the wrong things that Joe's done, all the wrong things that Chris has done, all our lies, our blasphemy, the things we've looked at on the internet, our hatred, our gossip, all of that sin was laid on Jesus. And there on the cross, he suffered and died. He took the punishment for our sin. I don't hate him. I love it. Yeah, and I'm saying most people do hate him. Just ask him, Josh. Consider these things. Think about the one who died on the cross, your sin, he rose from the dead, and he offers forgiveness. We're all going to die one day. We've all got a friend who died far too young. We all know that person. And yet that could be us tomorrow.